Sometimes oil may be at an elevated temperature if it has just been produced or treated. During the course of this module, we'll be talking about vapors. But what exactly is a vapor? A vapor is a gaseous form of a substance which is normally liquid or solid at atmospheric temperature and pressure. For example, when water is heated, it changes into water vapor or steam. When cooled, steam condenses back into liquid water. Now crude oil reacts much the same way. When heated during the treating, some of the oil vaporizes. The heated oil inside a tank continues to vaporize, thus filling the space between the liquid and the top of the tank. These vapors contain propane, butane, and gasoline, which contribute to the gravity of crude oil. If they are lost to the atmosphere, a reduction in gravity of the oil in the tank occurs, decreasing the value of the crude oil. Now this is due to the fact that higher gravity oils, those with light hydrocarbons, are more valuable. Light hydrocarbons can be refined into more valuable products than heavier hydrocarbons. As previously stated, part of the crude oil vaporizes and fills the space between the top of the oil and the top of the tank. As temperature changes, pressure of the vapor also changes. It's just this simple. The warmer the crude oil, the more it vaporizes, and the greater the pressure. As the vapor cools, it condenses, and pressure inside the tank decreases. Even though pressure changes are generally small, they can increase to a point where venting is necessary. Within a tank battery, two or more tanks together, if vapor pressure is high in one tank, vapor moves to another tank with less pressure through an equalizing line. This occurs until pressure in all tanks become equal and reach a set point. At this pressure, the vapor recovery system begins to operate. By drawing vapor from the stock tank through a gas vent line to the vapor recovery unit. The gas bypass system is made up of a series of valves and pipes that recirculate compressed vapor back through the scrubber and compressor. This is done to maintain vapor pressure at a level which keeps the compressor running until the pressure inside the stock tanks can increase. Pressure inside stock tanks is usually measured in inches of water. The compressor starts when vapor pressure increases to a predetermined set point, usually two inches of water. When the vapor pressure drops to about one inch of water, the compressor stops. In the gas bypass system, a bypass valve opens partially, operated by a control pilot, and some of the compressed vapor recirculates while the rest is discharged to the gas gathering system. If vapor pressure drops well below one inch, a bypass valve opens fully, and all compressed gas is recirculated. However, a continued decrease beyond a predetermined set point will cause an automatic timing device to shut down the unit. The purpose of the control panel is to protect the entire system from damage and to keep the VRU running smoothly and efficiently. The control panel should be checked frequently for proper functioning. Now its purpose is to monitor and control the unit, signal the operator when problems develop, and shut the unit down if necessary to prevent an accident. The control panel consists of a master breaker switch, on-off switches, tattletales showing cause of shutdown, indicator lights, and a reset button. 